What's up guys, Stark here. In today's character spotlight, we are taking a look at Romulus. I'm going to throw his pictures on the screen right now. I'm not going to talk too much about him because I personally think his artwork is terrible. Probably some of the worst artwork in the game, which is unfortunate, but I guess not every character can have amazing artwork. Anyway, he is a Lancer, so he's going to be strong against Archers, weak to Sabers. And for his stats at level 70, he's going to have 7,239 attack, and he will have 9,883 HP, which is pretty solid for a level 70 character. And this character is actually, in my opinion, really good. He's got really good skills, really good Noble Phantasm, and he's got pretty decent stats. And if you do decide to Grail him, he does get some really strong uh, HP stats. But um, I don't know if I'd recommend doing that. Anyway though, let's go ahead and jump over here to his skills and talk about those. His first skill is going to be called Natural Body C, which will increase the attack debuff resistance for 3 turns and greatly restore his HP. So at level 1 it's going to heal him for 1000 and at level 10 it's going to heal him for 2500, which is really nice. You know, anytime you have a skill that heals you, it's going to be really good, especially on Lancer characters because they are typically really difficult to kill. His second skill here is going to be called Imperial Privilege EX, which has a 60% chance to increase attack for 3 turns, and a 60% chance to increase defense for 3 turns, and it will also restore his HP. So at level 1 for this, it's going to be a 1200 heal, and at level 10, it's going to be a 3400 heal, which combo that with his first skill is going to be really good. You basically have like 2 lives with this character. Okay, so his third and final skill here is going to be called Septum Calls A. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. I do apologize, but it's going to apply Guts for one time for one turn, and it will also increase Buster Card effectiveness for one turn. Now this is a bit tricky, because most Guts skills give you some leeway of three or five turns, but his only gives you a one turn leeway. Um, so basically, you have to use it the turn you think he's going to die, and if you're right, then you know he's going to revive. If you're wrong, then well, you just wasted your skill. Um, but it is nice to have Guts on a character, even if it is just a random chance of happening. And sometimes, you know, if he's maybe your last character, or you have a really good feeling he's going to be attacked, then it's worth it. And if not, you still increase Buster Card effectiveness, so it's really good. So overall, his skill set is really, really nice. He's got a lot of attack. I mean, the 60% the chance is random, obviously, but it's still nice, and he still restores a whole bunch of HP with his skills and he's just generally going to be really difficult to kill and that's always nice so now I'm going to throw up his ascension and skill enhancement materials now this guy does need quite a bit to uh, fully ascend himself he does need the crystals the feathers and the bones as well as you know dust and pieces and monuments but that stuff's standard for pretty much every character and then for his skill enhancement materials he's going to need more of the same and then he's also going to need gears instead of the bones and that's a bit of a problem, especially right now, because gears are so hard to come by. So I wouldn't really recommend going all the way with this guy, at least right now. But you, at this point in the game, you don't really need max skills anyway, so... You could probably just wait and get the gears later on before you max this guy out. So now let's go ahead and talk about his craft essence. And this will unlock the Rome craft essence, which will increase Noble Phantasm damage of all allies by 20% while on the field. And this is really nice because it's for all allies, it's not just himself. So it's not a 30% gain for himself, but it's a 25% or 20% gain for all allies, which is really nice. Because then you don't have to give those allies craft essences that increase their Noble Phantasm damage. You could just use him to, bo to boost their damage. And then you could use a different craft essence on that character to maybe do more damage or do something else. So it's really nice. So for his command cards and his Noble Phantasm, he has two quick, one arts, and uh, two busters, which is really nice because you do want him primarily in a buster team. And his Noble Phantasm is also buster as well, which is going to deal heavy damage to all enemies. And then on the overcharge, it will increase the attack of all allies for three turns, which is really nice. It does quite a bit of damage, and then it will also increase the attack of all allies on overcharge. And now, yeah, it's an overcharge, but overcharge is not really that hard to get, especially on three-star characters and, like, the two-star characters and things like that. Uh, so you just need a second Noble Phantasm if you only have one, 
and then you get that attack increase for all allies for three turns i this is like the third time i said this but it is really nice anytime you can have a noble phantasm that actually buffs your team it's really good and it still does some pretty good damage as well so it's really good noble phantasm and then you combo that with his skills and this guy is pretty solid for a three star character definitely gonna look into leveling this guy up and possibly throwing him onto a team at some point in the future so now for your craft essence for this guy kaleidoscope is always nice because you do want to get that you know attack increase for all allies as quickly as possible and then you could use the other buster card rate ups like verdant sound of destruction for the 15 percent increase or you could use limit zero over for the 25 percent increase so that's pretty much it for this video here um Someone mentioned me in the comments that I should play the Noble Phantasm at level 1 speed. So I'm going to start doing that from now on. Um, I guess it'll just show it a little bit better instead of speeding through it. So I will be doing that and tomorrow I'll be doing Ku Cullen, but I'm going to be doing the caster version of him. He does have quite a different blob. He has like three variations in the game. So I'm going to be doing the caster one tomorrow. I already did the Lancer one and then I'll do prototype at some point in the future. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you here with Romulus' Noble Phantasm, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.